No, I'm, I was quite touched and thankful um, the gallery reached out and asked me to do this interpretive show uh, of the Buckley Collection. Vast collection of black and white photography of the Oshawa area. And it's not like looking at the photography of today. It's not the photography of today. We're talking an era when people didn't know what the camera was. The reason pictures were taken and then were different than today, they were pictures marking moments in time track record of progress of Oshawa, uh, denoting uh, special special occasions, openings, uh, celebrations, parades, and you know, looking through the body of work. I got about halfway through the body of work, I think there's 2,800 pieces, something like that, and I found, I look at these pictures and I thought, geez, you know, we're so hard on ourselves. We you know, try so hard to make a representation of herself in these photographs. Unlike today, it's a little bit more spontaneity in the pictures, but, you know, I, I got about halfway through the, sh the look to the work before I came up with the name for the show Parade of Life. And then I realized that there's a whole category of parade in the Bookley collection, which is just so ironic. Often I say that because often my work is about the failure in our judgment of each other and how we overlook the finer points in life due to class structure and presenting a sense of trust in the way we dress, the way we carry ourselves. And it's no more aberrant than in looking at these photographs from this era. In interpreting the work the way I do, it's not that I'm criticizing or being pessimistic about one presenting themselves a certain way. There are certain reasons to do so However, we certainly can get caught up in it. And that play between the two is sort of where my scope and interpretation lies. There are some occasions, some objects that afford us uh, more opportunities than other, some worth parading more than other, and nothing says that more than something like the carriage that came out of Oshawa with the Robert Rodockland family. And what that carriage offered Oshawa and the people and people in general in the way of identity has been quite a remarkable journey. There was a large um, piano factory in Oshawa. It was, it was a very substantial, it was a massive building. And it's a story that's um, seldom told about Oshawa. And that's another aspect of uh, looking through this collection is you know, the learning process and the documentation, um, the importance of this collection to Oshawa. And, um, I try to point that out in, worth, in that it's worth celebrating, worth parading. You know, I ask myself how much of my own parade is uh, a part of this show. Um, it's kind of ironic. <laughs>